Hey, what's up? This is Daryl, aka DJ Tank Dilla. I'm gonna do this video real quick, a little bit about me and about my music. I am a producer, I'm a musician. I grew up in a church singing in a choir since I was, you know, as young as I can remember. And <clears throat> I have a love for church music, I have a love for choir music, music that I've sung over the years and that I still continue to sing today. But I also, you know, in my high school and college years, I got into listening to hip hop and my musical interest expanded outside of uh, church music. And I, you know, started listening to alternative music and jazz. And then I started listening to, you know, the music from the uh, 70s, 60s and 50s, you know, trying to go back throughout time, you know, throughout sort of the uh, history of black music and the culture of black music and just be exposed to all of it because I wasn't really, you know, I, I grew up in the church and, you know, I wasn't really allowed to listen to a lot of stuff. And so it was kind of like, you know, like most of us that grew up in the church, it was, you do it, uh, you know, when your parents ain't around and you'd be liking it. And the thing is like, you know, I like the, the, rhythm, the rhythm and, the, you know, hip hop, I just like it, you know, that's my, I really gravitated towards it, and it's always been very, you know, uh, taboo in the, cult, in the, in the church, uh, you know, obviously because there's, you know, cursing and rap, rap music and the imagery and things like that, but, you know, when you can look past all that, the beats and the rhythms are what define me, especially being an 80s baby, so... I finally have been able to come sort of merge the two worlds within myself and even be okay with it in myself. And it's only given by the Holy Spirit, honestly, because it was something that, you know, I felt bad about, but I felt like the Spirit gave me license to go forward and start merging church music, especially the old classics and more upbeat, tempoed, um, the beats that you hear today and the beats that I love. And so that's my mission. That's what I'm, that's what my music is about. I want to sort of resurface and bring forth these old gospel classics, these like my favorite, uh, the favorite parts um, of my, uh, my favorite parts of my favorite songs that we sing in the choir and that we listen to um, when we listen to uh, gospel music. And sometimes, you know, sometimes I just kind of want to bring my favorite part out and have fun with it. And sometimes it's like a really beautiful piece of music that I just want to, you know, re-present or sort of arrange in a more upbeat way to be consumed, you know, sort of to uplift the spirit. So, like, I'm trying to, I make music that I want to hear to uplift my spirit to kind of keep me going during the, day, during the day and through the day. And it's just because, you know, I have the Holy Spirit within me and I like to encourage myself and I like to encourage others. I like to try to expose some of these songs to people that may not have ever been exposed to gospel music. People, you know, on the other side of the globe who don't, you know, who wouldn't have a reason to listen to Milton Brunson or Donnie McClurkin or Lonnie Hunter, <clears throat> you know, or Clay Evans, you know, especially since I grew up in Chicago, I have, you know, Chicago is like the hotbed and hometown of, of a lot of good gospel music. So that's a lot of my influence. So I put a lot of Chicago gospel, but also gospel music of all, you know, from everywhere. And also those, you know, the, the, bass the drum and the bass and the bass guitar um you know like i said other other church other church babies other kids of the 80s and the 90s um you know we like that bass and we like them drums but we also love god and it's not like the two can't coexist because that's another thing <clears throat> in my music i try to showcase and highlight the the song and not just sort of take one part of a song and and go elsewhere with it i really want the song to be the message and i want the uh the rhythm and the 
the beat that I'm putting behind it to sort of just uplift it and bring it forward. But the message is in the music. So that's a little bit about me. I'm going to post my SoundCloud below too. And I hope y'all like my music. All right. God bless.